Hiring can be a nightmare for companies. Founders of software companies agree that bringing on talented employees is the singular most important facet of building a successful company. But despite this fact, for most companies, it is not a continuous process. Most companies still follow the traditional hiring methods where hiring is kick-started only when they are needed urgently, which is like a major error. After all, with the clock ticking fast, the hiring team is under intense pressure to find someone and the, the company then lands up making hiring blunders and then we are okay to blame it all on the candidates or the industry environment and if nothing else, we blame God for not helping find and retain good people. If recruitment is a super important function for you, then do set aside time every week to work towards improving your processes, methods, tool and team so you can hire the right talent fast. Hey there, I'm Tabash Vibhikar and I coach and mentor founders of software companies to build scale in their business fast. Today I'm going to discuss an aspect of recruitment that many companies overlook and that's the recruitment team structure. Just like having the wrong skill sets and not enough team members in your delivery area could create havoc, similarly, a poorly structured recruitment team could be that leaking area in your bucket. If you're hiring two or three candidates per year, then you have nothing to worry and the recruitment can be easily handled even in the absence of a full-time recruiter. When the candidate hiring numbers start to grow, it is important to start consciously planning to hire full-time recruiters for your company. The statistics are changing over a period of time as finding and recruiting tech talent is becoming more challenging. On average though, a tech recruiter should be able to fill or hire around two to four positions per month with an average level of difficulty or around 50 per year. An exceptional recruiter or one working mostly on entry level positions should be able to fill close to 60 or 75 per year. If the total positions you need to hire are more than 50 per year or you have a culture of hiring more senior laterals than junior ones and the complexity level is higher, then you will need to add more recruiters. I've seen many software companies limping with a half-baked recruiter putting all the load on that one soul with the argument that they don't just rely on that individual but they also have external agencies for support. Yeah. But that's not helpful as it is internal recruiters bandwidth also that gets utilized in all the coordination with that external agency too. So be sensitive to ensure that your recruitment team is rightly sized. The second aspect to consider is the exact roles and skill levels of the recruitment team. Remember, your recruiter should be like your company salesperson. He or she will be the first point of contact with your future employees. So building the right impression with candidates is very essential. Just like when you hire for sales, you consider the communication skills, presentation skills and problem solving skills of the candidate. Similarly, the exact diligence is required while hiring your recruiters. When you start to build your recruitment team, be conscious about structuring it up like a factory setup ready to scale. One person could act as the sourcer focusing on building out a list of candidates and the outreach, while the second person could act as the recruiter running interviews and handling offers. If your recruitment team still needs to grow further based on your hiring volumes, Start to think of like the enterprise model. In this model, you could break down the teams of sourcers and recruiters vertically by either the business area or uh, servicing internally by tech skills that they need to hire for. You may also consider reinforcing the team with recruitment coordinators. The coordinator will own the scheduling, candidate experiencing, collaborating on the company, uh, applicant tracking system or, or ATS 
and provide overall general support. This is like adding the third leg to a stool to make it stable. Let's call this team a pod for very, you know, for every vertical in your business. Once you have a pod, you have a scalable team. Do audit your internal team structure to see if there are any gaps. Do work with your coach to build these strategies one by one in your business. Change your thinking, change your results. If you'd like this video, please do not forget to like and share. Do also subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more such videos sharing tips on scaling up. Thank you for watching.